Good morning, everyone. As promised, I'm going to show you something. We have leftover meat pie. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to make some Jamaican patties for my daughter. So into the bowl it goes. Now this, this pie is already pretty seasoned. The only thing I'm going to do different is um, since my pastry, uh, since my pie crust was a uh, bought one, uh, there's no curry or turmeric in it, I'm going to add it to my, um, to my filling. But I do want to also add some peas. So I am going to add just a little bit of peas. And that again, remember, uh, whatever leftover you have, you're going to play approximately what you, uh, you're going to play with your recipe. If you have a lot of meat left over, then you're going to add a little extra peas. But I just want to add a few peas in this recipe. And I am going to break it up. And we're going to mix that in. And I'm also going to add curry. And maybe some hot stuff. Okay, so now I am using um, I am using frozen peas, which is going to work just as good. Again, you use the amount that you're going to use for the amount of meat that you have. And if you don't want peas, you don't have to put peas in it either. So I am going to put a little bit of spice to this recipe. Now remember, if you don't want spice, you don't put it in. Okay, so I have a little bit of hot pepper. She likes hot, but she doesn't like as hot as I like it, so I am just going to put a little bit for her. Now, you could either put curry paste if you have, or you can put curry powder. That really is up to you. I have the paste, so I will use a paste. These peppers are really hot this time around, so I'm not going to use a lot of it. And now we're going to add some paste. Remember, taste, if you like it, then you're okay with the seasonings, then use the seasonings. If you're okay with just the way the meat pie was, because you could turn this into, uh, if you don't want to do a Jamaican patty, you could actually turn this into like a Mexican patty just by adding a little bit of those Mexican spices. And that's a little bit of heat, a little bit of maybe um, chili powder. So you, there's so many things you can do. Uh, I'm going to do the curry because my daughter loves curry. Let me get a spoon. But just to show you how versatile this meat is. And if you have leftover, never be afraid of leftovers. Now, if you don't have the paste, like I'm using here, you can simply uh, use curry powder and use as much as you like. There we go. And now all of a sudden you have a complete different dish. Mmm, more curry. But boy, is this good. Really, really nice. Maybe extra piece too. Little extra vegetable never kills anybody, right? And it's perfect heat for my daughter. Maybe even a little hotter. I can make it. But how simple is that? You got leftover meat? There you go. Make something with it. So I'm going to add extra peas. And all of a sudden, the little bit of meat I have is growing. So good. There we go. I'm just going to wait a bit because these were in my freezer. And then I'll be able to just make the pie, uh, the pie crust just a little thinner. And then I'll be able to start filling it. I went ahead and bought mine because I really didn't have time to make it. But you can actually make your own pie crust and you'll be able to make uh, these uh, beautiful Jamaican patties. So I'm going to see you in a little bit. 
Okay, so I've preheated my oven and I took an old tray and all I'm doing is putting some parchment on it. Um, they're not going to stick, so you don't even have to grease them. But uh, all I'm doing is putting a little bit of parchment on a piece of tray and I preheated my oven. But I'll play it by ear. Remember, uh, every oven is different, so you want to be able to always check your food. But instead of 425, like my pie uh, pie dish went in, I'm going to lower the heat and just keep an eye on them. So I'm just waiting for these two. Oh, here they are. And I'm just going to stretch it out a little. My daughter, here's one patty, here's another patty, and we'll give her three. And of course she loves hers with a little bit of ketchup. And that's how simple it is to make something different with some leftovers that you have in your fridge. Erica, yes. you want to come and try your patty? So we are going to cut one open just to show you what it looks like inside. And there you go. So, hope you like this video guys. And if you do, leave a comment, share with your friends. And guess what guys, I'll see you in my next video. You want to try it Erica? Here we go, guys. Very good. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Not bad, eh? Very good. Leftovers never go to waste. See you in my next video, guys. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.